$200 prepaid debit cards are coming soon, part two. In this video, I'm going to be answering some of the most frequently asked questions that I noticed in the comments section on yesterday's video. Some of those questions being, can I withdraw cash from the card? Can I use the money for food, clothes, and other purchases? What about SSI and Medicaid, as well as is this going to replace the $1,200 stimulus check? I know this is not a stimulus check, but hopefully those will be coming soon. All right, let's get right into this. If you're receiving Social Security, Retirement, Disability, or Survivors, please listen up closely. This also pertains to you. But as always, thanks so much for being here, everybody. My name is Matt. If you're new here or you're not subscribed, please be sure to hit that subscribe button so I can continue coming back each and every day to be your daily advocate. Thank you so much. I sincerely appreciate it. Let's get right into this. I'm going to burn through these questions and I'm going to answer all of them. I saw all these questions multiple times in yesterday's video. So let's hit it. Let's get into it. All right. Question number one, does the money need to be used for prescription, um, co-pays, and premiums? Yes, this $200 is allocated for um, pharmacy prescription co-pays and premiums as all of the information I've been finding, that's exactly what they say. Question number two, can I buy food? Um, can I pay for my rent, my utilities? Can I buy clothes? No, unfortunately, this money cannot be used for those purchases. Like I just said, it must be used for co-pays at the pharmacy and premium payments. So that's what they're saying. Question number three, can I withdraw cash from the card at an ATM? I wish I could say yes, but unfortunately, no. Um, it, you cannot withdraw cash from this card. It's a prepaid debit card. It sounds like you can only use it at the pharmacy for co-payments and premiums. However, I'm guessing this is going to be very similar to like an HSA or an FSA, like a health savings account or a flex spending account. Basically, it's a prepaid card. When you go to use it, if it's not being used on what it's supposed to be used for, it just gets denied. Um, if you're familiar with those programs, that's just what happens. If you try to buy something that's not qualified, it just denies the purchase. So I'm guessing it's going to be something similar to that. Next question. Will this $200 be deposited onto my Direct Express card? I don't know the exact answer, but I'm guessing the answer is no. The reason I say that is because if it's directly deposited onto your Direct Express card, technically you could use that money for anything you want. Well, like I've said multiple times in my last couple questions here, it must be used on those specific purchases. So no, it's not gonna be deposited onto your Direct Express card, but rather it's going to arrive as a prepaid debit card that must be used for those purchases that I mentioned. Next question. I live outside of the United States. Will I get this? Well, again, I don't have a specific answer to that because I did a bunch of research. I did not find a specific answer to that question. However, here's what I anticipate. If you live outside of the United States and you are eligible for this, I would anticipate that yes, you'll probably get it. However, it's probably going to take much longer because it's going to arrive, as I said, as that prepaid debit card in the mail. So it's probably going to take quite a while if they are shipping these cards overseas or to wherever you live. So just keep that in mind. If you're eligible um, and you're supposed to be receiving this, yes, you'll probably get it, but it's probably going to take much, much longer. All right, next question. Will this replace the $1,200 stimulus check? No. This is going to be above and beyond the $1,200 stimulus check. As you know, as you've probably been watching many of my videos lately, the updates on the stimulus checks, nothing has been approved quite yet. However, we anticipate they're going to be doing some voting this week on the next stimulus package. And as we know, because I've talked about it multiple times, that stimulus package includes those second stimulus checks. So I've had a lot of people concerned saying, is this going to replace the $1,200? No. This is going to be above and beyond. This is for um, prescriptions, you know, pharmacy prescription co-pays, premiums to help offset the rising prices on all of those, um, you know, those prices lately. So this, this is this 200 bucks is to offset that. So no, this is not going to replace the 1200. This is above and beyond that. But as soon as we get that approval on the $1,200 stimulus checks, of course, I'll let you know right away. I've been watching everything closely and hopefully we'll get some voting and some passing of some packages this week. So next question, what about SSI recipients and Medicaid? 
beneficiaries. So as we noticed from yesterday, I talked about the 33 million recipients or people who will be eligible to get this $200. This is what we anticipate. They're saying that 33 million people are anticipated to be eligible for this $200 prepaid card. Um, in addition, they also said, like I stated in yesterday's video, 13 million people will unfortunately not be eligible. Those 13 pe million people who would not be eligible are those people who also receive federal assistance for pharmacy prescription coverage um, to help you with your co-pays and your pr prescriptions. So here's what we know. SSI, if you're on, if you receive SSI, you're likely also receiving uh, Medicaid benefits. Well, as we know about Medicaid, Medicaid is a federally funded and state funded program. So it's partially federal, partially state. Unfortunately, I would have to say since there's that uh, federal element within the Medicaid, unfortunately, I think you probably fall into that category of the 13 million people who are probably not eligible. So I know that's really unfortunate. Please don't be upset with me. This is just the inf information that I'm finding. So if you're a person that receives strictly SSI and you have Medicaid, unfortunately, I don't think you're going to be included in this $200 prepaid card. If you're a Social Security recipient and you receive just Social Security and you do not have Medicaid, I think you're going to be falling into that category of the 33 million people who probably will be eligible. Now there's another category. If you're one of those people who receives Social Security and SSI, yes, you can be someone that receives both. If you receive both of those, yes, you receive Social Security, so you probably have Medicare, but since you receive SSI and probably Medicaid as a supplement, unfortunately, I'm guessing you probably fall into the category of that 13 million people who unfortunately probably are not eligible. So. That's what we are gathering out of all of this right now. I hope that clarifies a little bit further. Um, like I said yesterday, I made an example. There's the example I said was, okay, this is just a completely hypothetical um, example that I made up, scenario that I made up yesterday. Let me reiterate that one more time and see kind of where we stand. Yesterday, I talked about a 43-year-old guy who receives Social Security disability benefits. Will he receive this card? Again, I don't know. I feel like this is kind of a gray area because we don't know if he's receiving just disability benefits. As people know, many of you already know this, you must receive Social Security disability benefits for two years before you're eligible for Medicare. So if he's beyond this two year mark, would he be eligible for this prepaid card? Again, we don't know. I don't know if this is going to be for people who receive just Medicare Part D for prescription drug coverage, or if this is going to be for anybody that receives Medicare, Medicare Part A, Medicare Part B. There's so many questions on this, but I wanted to answer all of these questions. I feel like this probably sums up the majority of the comments that I received on yesterday's video. If you did not, uh, if you did not watch yesterday's video, please go back and watch that. I think it's going to be very helpful, along with this video to answer all of these commonly asked questions that I saw from yesterday. But again, just like everything, I'll continue watching all of this information and bring you any new information that I have. But I really hope this video answers a bunch of your questions and clears it up again. Please, if you're someone who is receiving SSI and Medicaid, please don't be upset with me. It's I don't make the rules. I just, I just relay all the information to you from what I find. So again, I hope this helps you out. Please be sure to leave any comments or questions below. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. And thanks so much, everybody. I'll continue watching all of this as well as the stimulus negotiations because we know everybody needs that 1200 bucks ASAP. So enjoy your day, everybody, and I'll catch you again tomorrow. See ya.